Um, <laughs> hi, Pat. You know who I am, and you know why you're watching this video. You're not going to get it here right now. Please refer to her Facebook. To all the people that are really interested in women who kick men's ass, you yeah. have that fetish. Thank you for liking my page. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay, what we're going to work on right now is called an, is an interception skill. As he throws the Kazami, I am going to throw my strike, or going to this side of the head as he does this. So it goes in. Okay, now, if he tries to throw an uppercut with this hand, go ahead. Alright, now, let's say that he tries to throw Yaku. And he tries to throw Uro. Alright, now, if he throws a hook, Kagi, with that hand, it's the same thing. I'm just, now I'm going to be right in here, okay? Now, what we're going to do is focus on interception. This drill is to teach you how to read the opponent, how to read the attack. All I want you guys to try to do with this particular drill is you're going to face off, put your strong side forward like you guys would be doing Kimbo. Yep. Now, your opponent is either going to throw a front hand or a backhand attack, and I don't want it to be preset. Okay? We don't want it to be preset. And I want you guys to read that, and as they throw it, they're going to throw it in a very slow manner. Nothing street speed yet, we'll build speed. But I want you guys to learn how to maintain position. Read the body movement and then make the appropriate interception. We're intercepting their attack. When I am throwing an attack, I have to open something up. Even if I'm opening up the inside of my arm, there is a weak spot available for my opponent to take control of because I am attacking him. You can attack any person's attack. But when I throw my attack, Gyaku, I am going to extend my hand out but not touch him. And I want to always extend and pull back. You always want to extend and then retract, okay? Always, so you can get your body used to making those kind of whiplash motions. You want to make it so that you extend all the way out and then come back. When you guys have to fight, you have to do something, and they're wanting to kick your ass, and you're in that moment, you do not have to hit them first. You can. You have that option, but you don't have to. Okay, but you can hit them first if they're trying to hit you. If I try to hit him first and he's trained, and I attempt this, he can hit me before I can hit him easier than I can hit him first. I know it sounds crazy, and I know it sounds nuts, it's like, it's like a riddle, but it's true. If, if I'm here, at the moment that he throws Gyaku, that's easier for me to do that. But if he is not moving, and his, both of his hands are up, and he's in a ready position, he is in a ready position to block anything I'm throwing. If I'm here, no matter what I do, he can block it, he can block it, block it, he can block it, you know, I can block all that shit. But at the moment that he tries to hit me, I can, I can hit him at that moment. It's open, and I can get that. And even if the guy is bigger and stronger and faster and more athletic and, you know, and, no, I hate really hot women ninjas. I can't stand it. Oh, all you bitches should die. Your books suck. You know, even if he's like that, I can still whoop his ass as soon as he puts his hands up to hit me. We're going to be working off the four basic strikes, okay, which you guys know is going to be Kazami, Gyaku, Kagi, and then Ura, okay? So, you guys are going to stand off on one another, one shot attack, and you have to intercept and strike with a full extension and a retraction before the other person can get you. Fair? Alright, good, play.